welcome, welcome, welcome to Transfer Business and News with ordained Crown Prince of Ghana and Anapoku Hitsfield. Salute, salute, salute from Accra, Ghana to every black man on the continent of Africa. I'm sending you grace. I'm sending you power. I'm sending you abundance as an African. Now, today, we'll be talking about the fifth dimension. Now, I want to raise every African's consciousness onto the fifth dimension. And I have been giving out some instructions that if you follow as an African, whether you are Christian, whether you are Muslim, I said I have put it on a frequency. I astral projected it and put it on a frequency. So if you follow instructions, you will move into the fifth dimension in consciousness. That is when Africa will get united tomorrow, the day you finish. Imagine all of us on this course. Because whatever I've been taught by my forefathers and ancestors, and my foremothers, somebody said foremothers is included. So I'll now say foremothers too, right? My ancestors, the journey I've been on, all the schools I've been on, everything I've gathered in the course of my lifetime, the keys and portals to wealth, grace, power and abundance from Mansa Musa and King Solomon and all these great black leaders that have ever lived in Africa. So imagine that source of power that you can also tap into as an African, right? So today, later on, I will talk about that. But let me talk about the fifth dimension album of Stone Boy. Because of course, right, um, I played the Into the Future, right? Into the Future is one of my favorites in the fifth dimension album of my man, Stone Boy at the Bernita. Now, there are... So I played Into the Future, but let me give you the other five um, tracks I like in the Fifth Dimension album, Forget, Forget, yeah, Forget, and Life and Money, featuring Stormzy, Activate, featuring Davido, um, Therapy, featuring Oxlade and Tiwa Savage, and Ranam, featuring Mareba. So these are the songs I like in the in the fifth album of a uh, fifth dimension album of my man stone boy what is your favorite let me know in the comment section below now today as i said i am about i want to move the consciousness of every youth in africa into the fifth dimension because for the first time i realized that if everybody thinks like i think nobody will harm anybody the love that we will have for each other. And I realize it is because I am the ordained crown prince of Ghana. So certain things, certain values that are in me, the love, the abundant love I found in my heart, that is not what it is in other people's heart. But because now I can combine science, now I can combine technology, and now I can combine African spirituality the purest form of spirituality. If you think you know God, practice African spirituality because you will know the living embodiment. You will now realize you are the living embodiment of God. Come on, guys, we are going on a ride. Now, Africa's unity is upon us. Now, as I said the last time, even the name Africa, we need to change it. Because Africa as a continent has gone through so much. But the new name we are giving back, we are going back to when we were kings and queens of this place. And we are calling it al -Kabulan back. The kingdom of al -Kabulan is upon us. Because Africa was a continent that was beaten, it was, it was humiliated. Its children were stolen from from it and so many things you know about right but then Alkabulan is back and the kingdom is back that is why the pan-african system is here as i said we will still maintain the name pan-african system because it will remind us from where we were sometime years back our unity is causing the world to shiver and this time around they can't fight it because this is nature we are in the age of Aquarius where every lie ever told will come to bear. People will begin to see you for who you are. Even your own people will start questioning your fathers. Children will, should start questioning their fathers on the history and the neocolonialism the Africans are talking about. 
So we are moving into an age, an age of grace, an age of power, and an age of abundance as Africans. That is the fifth dimension I am talking about. So, in order for you to get this, there are keys and portals to it. And I keep telling my fellow Africans that I had to plead for it to be reduced to this number. Now we have over 1 billion Pan-Africanists in Africa. Why are you not a Pan-Africanist? So when you get into grace, when you get into power, when you get into abundance, you will now realize that the reason why you are here is to co-create with God, the universe. So that whatever was done to your forefathers won't be repeated after you have come to this life. Of course, we learn from the past as Africans. Of course, the lessons you've given us, we, we've learned from them. That is why today, I am giving the instruction one more time. Now, in the next 30 days, start from the day that you were born. If you were born on Friday like me, start on Friday. If you were born on Saturday, start on Saturday. But mark 30 days from the day you are going to start. Now, make sure you ask your parents, your grandmothers, herbs that cleanse the body, bathe with these herbs. Now, in the next 30 days, you need to mention my name. You mention it 777 times in the next 30 days. But then on that first day, what you need to do is you mention it 30 times. And on the last day, you mention it 30 times. But during the course of the whole month, you should have mentioned it 777 times. Now, during these 30 days, remember to pay homage to your parents. The monies you use to pay tithe. Use them in buying things, buying groceries, taking your parents on, on if you can afford a vacation, do that for your parents. Do good into your fathers in the 30 days. Make sure you respect their hustle. Make sure they, you respect that your parents did the absolute best they could to raise you to this, to be where you are today. So let go of every sentiment. Positivity is what you should be thinking about. Because where you are going after this, it's a feed dimension of grace. It's a feed dimension of power. It's a feed dimension of abundance as an African. You need to change your mindset before it can appear in this 3D version. This is just a, an illusion. When you close your eyes, the world still goes on. A blind man doesn't know the 3D version of reality. But then he, he or she will develop everything else. With sound, with, with smell, with taste. So if you have your eye. You need to open your third eye, which we call the penal gland, located right here, somewhere here, you see. And that is the eye into that very creative spark, that very creative spirit that created everything you see in the universe. So as a youth in Africa, you see what is going on across Africa right now? It is the black consciousness waking up to know who it is. Waking up to reality. And as I said, the, the, the era and dawn that is upon us is the Aquarius. Nothing gets hidden under Aquarius. So now you see the subconscious mind and the conscious mind fighting. Because the universal and the most powerful being are not in tune with itself. They hate their, their very own existence. 
And if black people hate themselves, it means the world will never become a better place. Because we are the gods of earth. And people know it. The melanin is the ish. The melanin is the multi-billion dollar industry they don't want you to know about. So today, 14th August, um, 14th August, 2023, our year of grace, our year of power, and our year of abundance, I'm sending grace, I'm sending love again, and I'm sending abundance to every African to this morning, because this is the time to take matters into our own hands as black people. And taking matters into our own hands means that we need to start respecting ourselves. We need to start giving back energy to our people. Love, respect. When you meet an elderly person that is as old as your father, respect him as your father. Irrespective of the fact that your work makes you earn more money than somebody doesn't mean that you need to disrespect the elderly. And unfortunately, the same systems that have destroyed Africa keep promoting systems that makes young, the younger generation have audacities to even insult our fathers. When you take 85% of everything in Africa, so, we know where the problem is. And we are cutting the animal from the head. So, going forward as Africans, we know that our friendship with the West hasn't given us anything. And if you've been friends with somebody for over 563 years, like Ghana have done with the UK and all these countries, and yet it is death, divisions, 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 death, death, rape, all these things to your people, if you don't set up one day as a human, if you don't say, now enough is enough, your friendship is toxic. Your friendship is, is, is cancerous to my people. So, thank you very much. Today, I'm saying this, and we are going to cross every border, every France embassy in Africa. Going forward, Africa and France are never friends until they apologize, until they bring our forefathers' head that they cut and they sit in jars in museums in Europe back to the motherland. They shouldn't be our friends. As a matter of fact, our energies towards the West is shifting. And when you have friends like China, when you have friends like Russia coming to teach your children how to fight for themselves going forward, why wouldn't you take such alliances? Africa's unity means that Africa is gone. And a new dawn means that a new rise of an empire that existed 800,000 years back, the Alkebulons, the kings and queens of earth. So I want the next generation of African to pick a mantle, pick something that is missing in the motherland and tell yourself, in my lifetime, I will make sure I solve this in Africa and work towards that aim work towards that goal and i want the youth of africa together you and i we are about to build our continent like it has never like never been built before so that spirit of africa alkebulon being aware of where it was eight hundred thousand years back and jumping into that grace jumping into that and power jumping into that abundance quantum shifting a lot because we witnessed the 777 portal three times and we acknowledge that day 
We sowed seeds of grace. We sowed seeds of power. We sowed seeds of abundance as Africans. So that is what we are seeing now. Now, Pan-African system is what we will run, we will run across Africa. Pan-African system literally means love your brother. And if you love your brother, you will know that if, if my child is going to a school, your child should be able to go to that same school on merit, right? We shouldn't divide ourselves going forward as Africans. We are Africans born in Nigeria. We are Africans born in Ghana. We are Africans born in Zambia, in Zimbabwe, in Uganda, in Rwanda, in Eritrea, Mauritania, Angola, Kenya, Cameroon, Nigeria, Ethiopia, Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria, Chad, Niger, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Senegal, Sierra Leone. We are Africans born in that land. So the African is what is important to us going forward. And that is why I want all of us to move into the feed dimension of grace, the feed dimension of power, the feed dimension of abundance. Connect to my frequency. Now, as I said, during these 30 days, make sure you have an open mind and say that everything that happens to me is for me. Keep telling yourself every day. Because maybe going or moving your consciousness into the fifth dimension in quantum field Maybe things will need to be destroyed in your past life to breed new and better opportunities in your life. So in these 30 days that you are on this journey, as I said, try and visit your parents. Do good to them. Buy them things. Give them gifts for them to bless you during these 30 days. You can have sex because I think sex is one of the things when humans do, they are happy, right? I've never seen anybody come and be like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sad, right? So me, I, don't, I, I didn't put, you see, we are here to enjoy this earth. We are here to enjoy existence. Anything else that makes you hate existence, those people are the people who are the devils. You need to stay away from such people. Who doesn't make you grow in your consciousness, your spirituality? We are one people, Africans. And as I said, even the Africa has suffered enough. We are calling ourselves when they came to meet us as kings and queens. Al Kebula. The kingdom of Al Kebula is upon us, my brothers. And I wake up happy. I wake up with love. I wake up with nothing but love. I wake up with nothing but love for my fellow brother in Africa. I want. To be able to walk without watching my back. Because I know my fellow African got my back. That is why I have quantum shifted and astral projected this knowledge. 800,000 years of knowledge. And if you're a white man, of course, and you think you want to know the universe. Be on this journey. 30 day journey. Cleanse yourself a lot. Every day. I said start on the day that you were born, right? 30 days. Um, every seven days, the day that you were born, you cleanse yourself again. Do good during these 30 days. Make sure you mention my name, 777 times in that 30 days. 30 in the beginning of the day that you start and 30 at the end of that 30 days, right? But then in that, during that period, you should have mentioned it 777 times. And any time, I said, do good. Do a lot of good during these 30 days. Try and do good. Doing good means that be, be, go home on time. Be with your children. Be with your wife. Help her in the kitchen. Be the family man. Be the dad at home. Do things with your family. That is what 
that is the most important things in our lives for crying out aloud. You won't be remembered for. Now, where are Mansa Musa's children? Maybe you may be a great, 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 great grandchild of Mansa Musa. Do you know that? Because just imagine a rich man in old in Africa, that's rich. How many wives would he have had? Would he, hey, or oh, whatever, man, <laughs> would he have had, or would, would he have had, whatever? Imagine the wives he would have had, right? And look at where are their children. So you may be a, a, a descendant of Mansa Musa. So imagine if you can tap into that man's wealth, the knowledge he had when he was on earth. Do you know where you are from as a black man? Do you know this is the land of gold? This is the land of opportunities. This is the land of grace, power, and abundance. I said tap into the fifth dimension. Move your consciousness. Start meditating. Go and learn. Google the mudras, right? You know, this, some, some of these signs, right? When you sit down, your fingers, some is earth, water, you need to know your body and connect to your higher self. Connect to your higher self. When you connect to your higher self, you are not envious of anybody because you know who you are. You know your worth on life. And nobody else can come and tell you something different. You see above every system. And that is what I want you to be as an African. We are moving into the fifth dimension. Into the future. I want us to go into the future. We are quantum shifting in consciousness. Operation 2050. By 2050, my brothers, I don't know your age, but add 27 years to your age. By that time, we will look back at what we have done in the last 27 years. And I want us to look back at Africa with satisfaction. I want us to look back at Africa and say, we used every single minute for the benefit, for the empowerment of our people. Because we have been the people who were enslaved. We were the ones that have been killed. Don't let them change the narrative. Always remember who you are. Because if you know who you are, you learn from the past. You make sure your actions today are the right actions for an abundant tomorrow. We are about to build 30 large-scale farms across Africa. The biggest farm in the world is in China, which is 30 million acres, right? We will make it, is it 30? Maybe 28, right? We will make it 30 million acres, hectares. We will, we will build 30 of those. We will make sure our food we harvested because we have the most fertile land in the world. Come on, man, brothers of our cable land. The kingdom of our cable land is upon us. It is in our duty to awaken our brothers that are sleeping, to know who the enemy is. The enemy doesn't look like you and I. Look, look through what is happening in the universe. Pull, close that book for a second. Close it. You live in 2023. How can somebody who, who lived 2,000 years ago in some way, in, let's, they say Israel, write a book and you in 2023, you that you have never killed a person. How can Moses lead you to goodwill? He is a murderer for crying out loud. David is a murderer. The people that are in the Bible, even when, when they are brought to today's world, they will all be in prisons. So think, you have nature to teach you everything. You don't need a book to teach you love. You don't need a book to... As a matter of fact, that book is the reason why you don't love your, your next door neighbor. Because he's a Muslim and you're a Christian. Even if they are Christians, once one person is a Jehovah's Witness and the other is a Pentecost, they are black people, Ghanaians. But let one person cook 
and be like, well, let me go and give it to um, this Jehovah Witness family. Trust me, that food will never be eaten. They, if they take it into their room, trust me, I say that food, they will never eat it. That is the same way. But why have we made... Then you need to think, oh, who is our division benefiting? Our division as Africans. NDC, MPP, ANC, AZZ, AYY, AFF, PWY. All these things. Why should we divide ourselves before we make a, a decision? No, we don't need to divide ourselves to make decisions for ourselves. Because when we use love in making decisions, it will benefit you, it will benefit me, it will benefit the, the, the African in Nigeria, the African in Rwanda. And that is what the Pan-African system is going to bring. That is the same system that Muhammad Gaddafi used in developing Libya. That is why they killed our father. But today, let us move into the fifth dimension. When you are done, now, if you have any, during these 30 days, if you want to ask me any questions, write me an email at ranwrinkle at gmail.com. Now, it is absolutely free. I am emphasizing once again, anybody that may be, I don't know, somebody may hack my account, some may be, and will ask of money from you. No, it is a fraud. Write me an email. It's absolutely free. I had it for free. I've put it in quantum. Everything is energy. Everything that you need in this world is energy. Match the frequency of that energy and you attract it into your life. And when you know this, you won't chase for wealth because you know you are the attraction. Wealth will come from left. Wealth will come from right. The ideas that will come into your mind will be multi-billion dollar ideas. Something nobody else has thought of in this world. My fellow Africans, go on this spiritual journey, this 30-day journey. With Cleanse yourself. Do good. Buy things. Give it to your fathers. Go back home. Make sure you ask for forgiveness if you have harmed your parents. Let them bless you when you are going. Do a lot of good during the, that month. Because what you are going to match is pure grace. What you are going to match is the source, pure. There is no power on it than the black power. Because in blackness came everything that you see. Look at color. Color will teach you day and night. Night comes before day. Morning starts with, with darkness. Before the sun illuminates us. You are the reason why the sun comes up every morning. Go to Europe and see whether their sun, their time is like your time. Sometimes the sun will be there late at 11 p.m. in the night. You, by 6 o'clock, the sun is gone. By 6 o'clock, it, it comes up. Don't you know you are the gods of this earth? Don't you know the reason why they keep dividing us is because they know what you and I can do if we think together. So join me on this journey. Join me. Any questions, write to me. Write me an email, ranwrinkle at um, gmail.com. I want to do a seminar at Moving Peak. It will be called The African Man Today, Tomorrow, Forever. We are going to invite people across the world. And in this seminar, we are going to talk purely black. We are going to love ourselves. We are going to share our knowledge. Come on, my brothers in Africa. This is the time. This is the time. What you see around Africa... You shouldn't be afraid. Never be afraid of the oppressor. Never. Because do you, do you know what we can do? We can just go to the seashore as Africans and stare at the, at, at the horizon, at dawn. Every black man stand on the seashore, stare at the seashore, 
and we will rise tsunamis and it will wipe a generation. So I say, don't be, don't be scared of the atomic energy because none of what they have can stop time. Time is the ultimate currency. And in the quantum field, time, the present, the future, and, and, and the past is just there. All you need to do is change it. And I want you to give, I want to give you that power. That is why I am, I want you to go on a fifth dimension to match grace, to match power, to match abundance. So that in your lifetime, you will know that you are here to co-create with the Almighty God. Or whatever you call him in your language. He appears to people differently. Now I call in Ghana, we call a cat Alonte, right? In Chi, some people call it Okra. Um, others call it Ejamwa. In Spanish, they call it Gato. If it is a female, Gata, right? In, in, in German, they call it Katze, right? In English, we call it Cat. So, the same animal, but it is called differently across the universe. So, why do you think somebody calling God differently is lost? No. God appears to people differently in different forms. Look at us. We are here on a unique journey. We are here as enlightened beings to co-create with the world. For an abundant life for crying, for crying out loud. All Africans and black people have been asking for. It's just us living on our land, doing our things the way we want. But we've realized that we have been saying it politely for too long. We give you the energy. It's because we want to be friends with you. But if we take that mindset of being like you, you have harmed me so much. My friendship with you hasn't benefited me. From today on was you and I, we don't have any relations. And I want somebody to tell me that Africa owes the West. And let us now sit down and talk about who really own who. How can you cut the heads of our kings and put it in jars in Europe and make money from of it for centuries and tell me, I owe you. How can you rape my women? So if you tell me I owe you going forward, whatever you've done to me, I will do the same thing to you in every inch. And I will use that as the repatriation. So if you know what is good for you, make sure this time around you go. I said close every French embassy in Africa. If our brothers in Mali have done it, if our brothers in Burkina Faso have done it, if our brothers in Niger that know them better than us have done it, then we are across Africa. We believe our brothers than you. For the first time, we know that what they are going through is what we are going through across Africa. Now, we as Africans can move between our own land, the land of milk and honey. They are disintegrating. They are spoiling our continent. They are destroying our waters. Look at River Pra. Look at River Tano. Look at all the rivers across Africa. They put cyanide. Come on. But yet we are arising. They try. They try. They build places and call it uh, prisons and put black people, mass incarceration, yet we rise. They can't stop time. And in Aquarius, we are coming for our grace. We are coming for our power. We are coming for our abundance as Africans. Now share this message so much. Make sure every, your, every brother of yours is doing this exercise. Let us move into fifth dimension thinking. And when we do that, what I know, if you know, I said tomorrow we will unite Africa. Before a surgery for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's day, birthday, let us do something as Africans, my brothers, the youth of Africa. Share this video. Give it to, share it so many times, right? So that every African can do this exercise. And let us move into grace.
power and abundance. And now let us tackle the things in front of us. Our water needs to be clean. Water is life. The first thing we are going to tackle is cleaning our waters. Then we can concentrate on agriculture, aquaculture, horticulture. Then we move from there onwards. The basics. It is a key, um, is it proverb? No. Is it proverb? Yeah. Meaning you do your needs before your wants. We need to start feeding ourselves. The reason why they think they control us because they have told us to, to, to cultivate only cash crops while they give us our vegetables, our daily food. So now when you do something, they say they put sanctions on you and they don't give you food. That is what they do. I said it is our friendship that has made them powerful. When we take our friendship from the West, when we say enough is enough, move away we also close our embassies to to the uk and all these people they need to come and apologize apology means bringing back whatever belongs to africa and an apology a sincere apology that we have we have wronged you in the past this is it this is it i said a pod of cocoa bean will never leave Africa to the West and, and US ever again in Al Kebula. A bean of coffee will leave Africa because, as I said, you need to come and apologize to the black man in Africa and across the world that you have harmed us and you need to go away and let us implement systems. We understand our brothers more than you. Share this video, my brothers. I've been talking for a very, very long time. I'll be ending very, very, very soon. Let it get to your brothers. Let us live on the feed dimension. Stoneboy said, into the future. I am dragging every African along with me. No, I won't leave you to rot. I won't leave you. I don't want, by 2050, an African... To be, a, to be an Okada driver for living. Even if the African has a motto. He has a motto for transportation, for fun. Not for daily living. No, we will build factories. Factories that are producing things that we will use in Africa. Domesticate African resources in Africa for the benefits of Africans. Our friends in Russia, of course, we need bases we are going to build military bases to train our children of course we can let china teach our the next generation of african kung fu tai chi and we will learn some more from russia so that next time i want even every african in his or her education should go through a self-defense class so that when you go somewhere and even somebody is trying to, 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 to beat you as a woman or, or, or cut you and rape you, you will know how to defend yourself. That is the African we want to build going forward. So although we will have all this love in our hearts, you won't try us physically and you can never try us spiritually. That is the Africa we need to build as Africans, my brothers. I said, even the Africa, we will change it and we will call ourselves where, the time we were kings and queens. al -Kebulan. The kingdom of al kebulon is upon us. Gold will never leave Africa again. Uranium will never leave Africa again. Platinum will never leave Africa again. Californium, the most precious mineral in the world. A kilo, $27 million. They mine it all the time and take it. I said it is our friendship that has made them think they have authority over us going forward. When we see our brothers, we will see grace. When we see our brothers, we will see power in a fellow African. When we see our brother, we will see abundance for, for us all. So go on this journey, this 30-day journey. 
tap into what I know. I've put it in the quantum field, in the universe. It is like a radio. Match the frequency of a channel and you can hear what Kwame Sefakai is saying at Peace FM. You can hear what Kofi Kumbilson, much love to my fathers, man, and, and especially Kofi Kumbilson. I used to listen to him a lot growing up, man. Kofi Kum, Mr. Mr. <laughs> Minister of Information, much love to my fathers in Ghana, much love to my fathers in Africa. This is not what we are telling you the way you are governing your continent is the same way the colonial master, the same people that killed your fathers, want you to govern it. And we are doing it differently. Although they taught us about Pythagoras theory and all these stupid, stupid things they teach us in school, so that you don't know why didn't, us, why didn't they teach us about mining? When we have the mines, they claim they have gold reserves. So they back their currency by a reserve. But who actually owns the mine? Gold will never leave Africa. Because you see, gold, right? After you've mined the place for a very long time, you can even cover the pit. Wait just 10 years. Come back again and there is gold. It will never leave Africa. All the resources in Africa will never leave Africa. And we could have shared it with the world without fight. But now... As I said, if you don't apologize, the Alcabulon we are building will cut all relations with the United States and with the West. Now we are going to protect ourselves. If we see you snooping in our land, you have declared something. I am telling you, you need to apologize by the close of 20. 2023, this year, everything that was stolen from Africa needs to be returned. Otherwise, those things will evoke. And in 77 years, the Eiffel Tower won't have a viewer because the cold that will engulf Europe, the cold that will engulf Europe, people will freeze in their homes. I'm telling Africans to come back to Africa. You can't fight the universe. You can't fight God. And you can't fight nature. In 2023, we are basking in our grace. We are basking in our power. We are basking in our wealth. You can never come here and tell us what to do in our lands. Tap into this power, my brothers. And let us unite our continent tomorrow. Like tomorrow. We should have done it today. But even if we can't do it today, let us do it tomorrow. Start the journey. If you have any questions, write me the email. I will respond to every email. Some, sometimes I will do a video and send it to you. I said it is absolutely free. I want to empower you. Because if you know what I know, and you've seen what I've seen, and you know the universe like I do, you will know these people even black people are a grain in the cosmos. How much more white people? Who came from black people? They are nobody. Nobody. I love Manchester United, but now, for the first time in a very long while, somebody normally buys them and sends them to me, right? But then, for the first time, the person was trying to buy them. I'm like, oh, wait a bit. Because all the love we give to, to the West, they give us hate. They, they actually teach their children to hate black. So it is about time we are like, oh no, we need to also teach our children to hate white. Yes, that is the realization we are coming. Because we have said it so many times, but the generation that keeps coming is becoming worse. They claim they discovered things when they went and met people in that land. How can you discover something when somebody's already living there? How can you discover America when there were people living in America? Black people living in America. Come on. My brothers and sisters, I said it's because we have given them 
the energy. If we turn our eye like this and cancel French in our schools, remove their embassies, remove anything French, I said in just 77 years, the Eiffel Tower won't have an, a viewer. Weeds would have grown around it. You don't know. They need to apologize. They need to bring everything they stole from Africa back. Because those are the things, the very same things, that will invoke what I'm talking about. Before the close of 2023, we need everything back in our motherland. We are coming for every single thing that belongs to Africa. We know who we are. You can't write something about us for us to know. So because now we tap into the universal energy. Places your consciousness can never get to. Because black people have always lived on your land. Call on your people. And let me call on my people. And let's see the, the race that has more powerful people. Now we are changing things in the cosmos for it to appear in this illusion with a 3D version. So anybody trying to disrupt Africa's unity, it means you are going to fight against Africa's gun, God, the universe, and nature. And you, you are no, you are nowhere with with six DNA series. You know, black people have nine DNA series. Do you know that the people of Africa? Yeah, we do. I said we are the gods. We are the beginning of. Every creation, man. That is why our penal glands develop more than any. That is why they keep hurting us, but we still love them. Because we know the world is abundant. We know this is 3D version. You create here, and it appears in the flesh, in this version. You create using God in you. Your all seen eye. I am. We have always known this. You are now realizing this across other, other Western countries. That is why you were able to colonize us. But now, we have given you so much energy. And that is why you keep doing what you are doing. And that is what we need to take back. Our energies from the West and Assam is, is like this. It's easy. 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 If we don't give them our uranium, how can they make their bombs? The United States spends over $1 trillion creating wars every year across the world. And you think, okay, I think the United States is a country of no crimes until you get there. And you are like, is this the Bronx? Wherever black people are, it is the same thing. They underdevelop our societies and create borders and keep us in a particular place. So many people with less to feed on. Chaos will happen. Chaos will happen. And then they pick one person and be like, you can come and be like us. Speak for the black people. Then that person will forget where he, he came from. You see, we are about to build Africa. The African Development Bank, as I said, China and Russia, I love you guys so much, but then no country will own shares in Africa Development Bank apart from Africa going forward. Or if China owns 6%, let's say 6%, then we Africans will also own 6% in their, in their economy. We will reciprocate whatever somebody does for us. I said we know who we are. You can't come to Africa in 2023 and intimidate any African anymore. We know who we are, and we are basking in our grace. We are basking in our power. We are basking in our abundance. Charlie, guys, I've been speaking for a very long time, right? It's been a pleasure having you today on Transfer Business and News. I will post this video later on, share it so much. Let your brothers watch. Let Africans watch. Let, let us go on that 30 day. Tap here. You are getting everything for free free because i had it for free that is how you know a good prophet you will buy their deeds now when you get the power i have you will know that ah if i have the power i will use this power for bad because when i speak good good things will happen when i speak bad bad things happen 
and if you are a human and you can choose between two, what would you choose? Good on your life. Start to think positive. I said, if God is coming tomorrow, let him come and meet Africa, build in Africa into what Dubai has become so that people won't use us as slaves, won't put us in their dungeons and call it a prison. And people, there's a video where somebody said he was sent to prison and he was sent to pick cotton. I did not know slavery exists until I went to prison. See, I can speak about slavery, right? Because I've been a slave. The 13th Amendment abolished slavery unless you've been convicted of a crime. Mm, yeah. do, do, do you understand what I'm saying? I catch you. I'm inventory at the age of 17, a slave for the state of Texas to, to serve eight years of servitude in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Now, why you say a slave? Because some people think that, hey, once you're there, you just get a bunk bed, you get a book, and you get to just sit there in, in boring silence for the rest okay. of the days. You ask me why I said slavery? Let's go. Have you ever seen a nigga pick cotton? Uh, nah. Where have you seen a nigga pick cotton at? Never in my life. A slave, though. Oh, slave, 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 slave. slave yeah. Nigga, I was sent to pick cotton. That's why I said. Oh, I'm so a you? Slave. So wait, wait. So I was sent to sit. I was. Wait, wait. All right, I so, ain't never seen nothing but a slave pick cotton. Wait, wait. So yeah. you have actually picked cotton off the cotton plant. I have picked cotton off the cotton plant. Texas Department of Criminal Justice. You pick cotton off the cotton plant. I remember. I go out here to the fields. And this is something me and you would never think is this. Right around the corner here, it's plantations of nothing but cotton. The South Empire was built on cotton and they hadn't changed it in the night. We was here to pick it. And look, when I got to the field, I'm like, I'm not picking that shit, nigga. I'm not no motherfucking slave. Y'all got, they drew their guns. You ask what happened. Yeah. You say what happened, yeah, yeah. right? Oh, they, they trained for niggas. Oh, you one of them niggas. You think you ain't gonna pick, huh? Yeah. You think you counter, Toby? Roll right up me on them guns, told me get down on my hands and knees or they gonna shoot me. That's what I'm telling you. They got, uh, you are a slave. They have the right to kill you if you pose a threat to leaving this structure. Nah, nah, ain't, no, no, damn. This is jail. So I am a slave. If I run, they shoot me in the back. How many that, times you thought of running? None. So, well, what, what you mean? So let me, at, at any point, did you feel like, man, if we all get in this together, we could overtake this shit? That shit sound good, right. bro. That shit sound good. And I'm going to get to that, right? So to this point here, right, they made me get on the ground. One of them got off the horse. When he got off the horse, if I made any moves, any moves, you get smoked. They get a free kid. They got, they got notches on they shit from niggas they didn't kill. Yeah. They yeah. keeping the skull. Do, do you hear yeah. what I'm saying? That, that's why I say, that, let's not play with this shit. This is slavery. This is my first day. I'm like, you, what the fuck is this? You still a child. Hey, yeah, you still this a kid. Too. You are uh, what, 17, 18? I'm 17. 17. Like, what the fuck is this? Make me get on my knees. One of them get off, handcuff me, right? And I'm thinking this. Well, at least I get a ride back in the building. I'm out this shit. They got me fucked up. No, that's not happening, bro. Guess what they do? You know, they had, do they whip you? They don't whip you, right? This is what they do. Yeah. It's hot outside right now, right? Yeah. They have a trailer. Everybody know of a trailer, like they go on the track, back of a truck. Yeah. They have a trailer that's enclosed with a fence, oh, a no. regular fence. Yeah, yeah. They handcuff you in this trailer, put you in this trailer like this, no seats in the trailer or nothing for the rest of the day. Welcome to burning hell. Dude, I'm telling you, I've been a slave, bro. And that shit ain't nothing to play with. I can tell you this, though. By day six, I was the most best cotton picking nigga they ever had down in that motherfucker. Look here, look here say, say, look here. And I wasn't the only one. It was some stiff cotton picking niggas down there. Do you hear what I'm saying? Hey, nigga, I'm telling you the honest truth. Meaning, they have perfected on mentally and physically breaking niggas. And listen, if you got two out of line, I'm finna get to your story too. Listen, that's them breaking. After that, if you get two out of line, them niggas will whoop you out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they up hey, yeah. you fucking up for everybody. Nigga, if boss man say this nigga ain't acting right, 
them niggas will whoop you out there. So I went from that to having fights out there. And guess what? Fight, win, lose, or draw. Back to picking cotton. No matter what. Back to picking <laughs> cotton. So you see, slavery has never left. But the system with slavery changed. So now, they give black people less for you to commit a crime in order to even get a roof under your for your family right so when you do that crime they pick you they put you in jail and then in jail you go and pick cotton in the field slavery never left they just redefined the game as africans we have also seen above all their systems above all it's been a pleasure having you my guys oh let me read a few messages um Street CEO says, greetings, bro, my brother. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you grace. I'm sending you power for the oppressors to, to fight against the oppressors. Rule. It starts from here. When you fight them here, it's done. Because this is an illusion. What I'm seeing is an illusion. It is real and unreal. Everything is energy. When you look at your skin under a microscope, you realize, oh, I think I am solid, but in actual fact, I am just... I am just there. I am. You are. You are part of the universe. The universe is you. So what we are manifesting in Africa, that is why I want you to move into the fifth dimension in your consciousness as an African. We are about to build our continent. The ideas that will come into your mind after you've completed this 30-day journey. Come back and tell me. Write, write emails and tell me what you will go through. Now, as I said, during these 30 days, whatever will happen to you, accept it and learn from it. Let's say you have a boyfriend, you are a lady on this course, right? And the boyfriend, you realize, you know, this guy is not really interested, but you are still holding on to the relationship, right? Now, if the man in, this, in the next 30 days comes and be like, I want us to break up. Accept it. Because in order for you to get to your grace, power, and abundance, something may need to be destroyed in your life. Because if you are on this journey, it means that your current situation, you don't like it. So if things are going to change in your life right now, something needs to be destroyed. I hope you are getting the insights I want to um, give to you guys. So on this next 30 days, I said start from the day you were born. You yourself. I am empowering you. I'm teaching you the, the way to God for free. For you to know what I know. I said if you know what I know, tomorrow you'll be talking like me. You'll be like, where, where did all this thing come from? We have, we have combined. I said what they call technology. Is what our fathers knew in African spirituality. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and everything. That is how come our fathers, they would, um, you would hear them saying when he slept, he went, his, his spirit went. Because they will connect in astral projection and communicate there. Right? But then we've thrown all these things away, man. I said, do a lot of things that will make you very, very happy during the 30 days and clean yourself a lot. Now, if uh -huh, one of the things you can do is, you see, there is this leaf called Miracle Leaf. Um, three people call it Tamiu. Plug three, right? Three of these leaves. Chew them. It will, it will cleanse you from within. It is good for hypertension. All these, read about it. Google it. Google it and, and read the health benefits of the, the, the leaf of life or the miracle leaf, right? Chill tray the first day and chill tray the last day, okay? So it will cleanse you from redeem and bath with um, um, some herbs like nya nya. Ask your mothers. Ask them. They will tell you. Bath with it on the day you are born. Every, every seven days. Every day you are born in that 30 days. Bath with it. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse it because you are now coming to march. A frequency and you are going to attract grace power and abundance onto your life as an african we need to we need to start working in africa man the work i have 
I have done everything. That is why we started with the Pan-African system. Now we have 3,007 patterns in Pan-African system. I am a computer scientist. I'm always writing patterns in Pan-African system. So me, I never stop working. I, it's been a while since I saw my mom. And I know she misses me. But I know this work is bigger than me going to see my mom. Because I know Africa's unity will benefit her, will benefit your mother, will benefit the ever mother, the Yoruba mother, the Swa um, all the tribes in Africa. So I know I need to suffer now missing my sister and my mom, but I know what I'm doing and I'm manifesting it across the world. The black race is here. My name is Obokume Kumanarano Chibidi Akupoku. It's been a pleasure having you for more than one hour, man. Guys, you if I tell you to talk for one hour, can you talk? I need moderators going forward, right? okay? I need a lot of moderators with this TikTok thing, um, taking care of things. I need to, yes, I, I will try and bring a few people live. Sometimes we need to talk about life in general, life. Like, come on, this is us. We are brothers. We are brothers. Me, I don't see myself bigger than anybody never when i see a black man i see a god in my likeness i am that is who i see i don't see an enemy that is why i don't want i want you guys to match mine when you match it you will see the way i see things you will see the world in a different lens you will have knowledge of the universe that so many people don't know